Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about the seven seals. Yep, we're on part one of the first of the seven seals. And in this short video, Claire is going to have a conversation with our father talking about the events before and during the tribulation. Uh, she's um, going to talk about, you know, a lot of the things that's coming up on the earth that, you know, obviously humans are not aware of. So she'll be covering that during this series. Um, the main message in this video is going to hear how it is absolutely necessary that we learn to call on the father because of this, uh, among other things, we have this mark of the beast. She's going to go into detail about this mark of the beast as far as what happens to the people who actually get the mark of the beast, talking about believers who will end up taking the mark of the beast, what will happen to them. And then she touches on the monstrosities that are out there in the wilderness that are promised to uh, play a part in this tribulation. All right, guys, sit back, relax. Uh, if you would, go ahead and hit that like button and be prepared to leave a comment forecast and instructions from jesus events rapture tribulation the events before and during the tribulation excerpt of jesus message to claire the coming hell on earth from december 13 2014 the lord began hell on earth literally hell on earth not to be believed beyond any horror movie hollywood could dream up or invent no one knows the gravity of what's coming so many left by the wayside so many innocent blind lame and without a clue clueless the learning institutions are known to keep them dumb and programmed to be empty and dumb to what is to transpire. Oh Claire, please tell them for me. This is not what I wanted for my children on earth. This is not what I wanted, not what I planned, not at all. No, I had planned a paradise for my people, my children, a literal paradise. I had to give rein to free will, because free will carries consequences, and all must learn through consequences to call upon me and choose me above and beyond the learning institutions and the pop culture of their generation. They must go deeper. I have called to them deeper and deeper. Deeply I have planted my word to them. Deep in their consciousness I left my calling card of love and warning. They've gone unheeded, supplanted by the glitter of your culture. The living will envy the dead. But the RFID chip will not allow them to die. There is the technology to keep people alive through the chip. They will search for death, but it will elude them. I interrupted him at this point and said, I understand, but they could jump off a bridge. Could they? Not with mind control in place. You have no idea what is coming or what has been engineered by Satan to cause indescribable suffering to humanity, to those I created in my image, to those I love with my life. He cannot destroy me, but he can hurt me by making men suffer, unspeakable horrors. Yet will my mercy triumph, Claire, yet will my mercy snatch the souls from their bodies who call out to me. But Lord, I thought there was no redemption once you get the chip. That is what is written. But am I to have no mercy? Too late for them? Too late for them, but death will indeed be a relief. And I will separate soul from body. I will mercifully remove the soul, the spirit, and out of the grasp of this evil generation of Satan worshippers. Lord, what do I make of this? It's so out of the ordinary for a message. Just take it very seriously. Very, very, very seriously. The living will envy the dead. What this evil and wicked generation has bought into is a complete lie. What they have been sold is a bill of goods. There is no resemblance to the reality 
that is to fall upon them. They do not realize they are being used by Satan for their own destruction. It is fitting in their greed that they too should perish in the plagues and pestilences that they have given birth to on the earth. It is fitting that they should be swallowed up in liquid fire in their lush and extravagant underground cities. It is so fitting. Nonetheless, I did not bring man onto the earth for such a time as this. Never, never did I plan this desolation for them. But because of their arrogance and rebellion, they've been given over to the father of lies, and he has done this job well. They are expecting a brave new world of super-intelligent, super-elegant living. Rather, they shall die in their fiery graves, along with many of the deceivers. Do you understand? When I return, there will be utter chaos. There will be monstrosities of nature that will have to be slain in order to safeguard the earth. But Lord, what about the three days of darkness at the end of the tribulation and the fire that is to cleanse the earth? Yes, I shall indeed cleanse by fire, but not all will die. There will be those that come up from the pit, monstrosities of nature that must be destroyed without souls. The demons will be bound, but what they have created with artificial intelligence and body parts, mixed man with animal, those will still walk the earth and need to be eradicated. Justified to say, the world will be a waste, and yes, I will regenerate it, but there will be much work to do. What I am weeping over is the suffering of the multitudes that would not listen. They chose to turn their back and they stopped up their ears, for it was inconvenient to stop their lives to hear my message. Not until the Holocaust will they turn to me, and too late to be saved from the fire and the wrath of the Father. They will not turn to God in righteousness, but in selfish ambition to be delivered, and yet deliverance shall escape them. I want you to say this was never my plan for mankind. I created the garden for my sons and daughters. Never did I dream of what is to come. All of this has been engineered by Satan and his minions. Try to understand, this was not my plan. You see, too many write of evil unto me, because they do not want to take responsibility for their own defeat. They want to see all of creation turn against me were it possible, which is not. This generation living needs to know I never intended this of man, and this is not my plan. It's Satan's. You may choose to blame it on me, but you will find out I never planned this. You, mankind, sided with evil, and evil brought this forth, not I. Nonetheless, men will lift their fists to the sky and curse me for what they have done to the earth. But let it be written, it was not I who devastated the earth, it was you, mankind. But Lord, you are the one pouring out the wiles. And in the wiles there would be nothing to pour out if Satan hadn't engineered it. You wanted the rule of Satan on earth, and here it is.